I want to share with you how I turn an unused tree log into a cowboy hat lamp stand with a simple chainsaw. All right, so this is my old lamp stand. It's nice because these rotate and I can just adjust it wherever I want. But this right here, this base, this had concrete in it and it broke. So I'm gonna preserve it. What I've learned from doing railroad ties, drilling in railroad ties, for some really heavy duty stuff and some long cutting, for my preference, you're gonna want an electric uh, hammer drill. This is a uh, the half inch hammer drill from Rigid, and I'm just gonna put this one and three eighths bit in here, plug this in, and then work this. Now I am sanding and blowing it off with the air compressor. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper and I'm just going where the rough spots are. I'm trying to go as much as I can with the grain. Sometimes I'm not, but uh, where the edges, I like those smooth so they don't just break off. I like some rough cuts. I like the kind of just homemade kind of feel with it. I'm trying to get in the crevices. You want it dry. It's been off the tree, it's been dead for probably a couple years, but you still gotta be careful because when you chainsaw, when you do your sculpting with the chainsaw or whatever, you're opening that up. Usually they say wood dries about an inch every year. So, I mean, it's a thick, you know, this is probably about a foot wide. You gotta be careful because the issue is when it cracks is when it dries too fast, okay? so. It's not like I want to carve this and put it out in the sun to dry because then it's more likely to crack. You want to ease it in. I'm having it covered in this covered deck right here and just letting it slowly dry since I've cut it. I'm just using black acrylic paint, filling in where the wood glue or the burn marks didn't get because of the grooves didn't get dark enough. I'm filling in those spots. Just the inner parts of it. I like having that dark you know, charcoal look on the inside and then it fades out.
and also on the back side, so it's not just flopping around, I have the cord with a staple gun with like four or five staples all the way down. Thank you. 